about that one drop of blood, or if you don't have that one drop uh, in you, that you're not such and such. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And so the one drop of blood rule is if you got one drop of our blood, you want us. Mm. And we got are rules over looking at the, Are you guys looking at the chat The from um, what, what's been said? From this, the, from uh, Chief Sonal. What, what, what's, what, oh, what's she say? I was caught up in this. <laughs> she, uh, well, she, she said she's got a bad connection. Oh, okay. And she wanted us to announce the event July 22nd. Okay, yes. Okay, so she wants you to do that. Announce the, uh, the uh, and who's going to be the, the special guest and stuff. Okay, I might go over here to our chat, uh, Chief, because <laughs> I don't know everybody by heart. Um, we is, um, if, if anybody, you know, this is welcome for everybody that's in the chat and, uh, you know, come down to the event for, uh, the Green Corn Fest for Chief Sunal, uh, the, the Truman Tapatulus, uh, they have an eight corn fest. So it's a three day event. First day is meet and greet. And then we have the gala, the, uh, that they have in on that, uh, I want to say it's that Saturday. Mm hmm Hold on. It's on now uh, July 22nd. Yeah, 23rd. 23rd. Okay, yeah. And 24th. Aborigine Business and Trade Forum, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Friday. Yeah. Aborigine Indians Deck to the Nines night at 8 p.m. Saturday. And then our Green Corn Festival Sunday, 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. And it says special guest job. Ja Bricks, Bricks, yes, Chief Cali and Cyril Neville, yes, ma'am. Yeah, corn is a sacred um food for us. Huh. This is why this is why you got so many different types of corn and for different types of festivals, okay? Right? So, you got that, like the ruby corn. Mm -hmm. when, when you have a congregation of different chiefs from different clans. You don't want to use the solid color gold coin because you want to represent everybody there. So you get those ruby co colored corns with multiple colors in them. Oh, they, call okay. it, they call it Indian corn. It's just corn. It's just maize to us. Yeah, maize. Right. So we used to pull the stalk back and um, boil the corn and we would use the stalk like a, like a popsicle stick to eat the corn. Mm -hmm. And we go to Big Mama house. She always had a bucket of chicken with a towel over it on her kitchen uh, yep. counter. Yep. And she had one with cornbread next to it. So when you come over to visit, she could feed whoever come in. She could give them a snack. Out everybody. The I mean, that was how my grandma, my grandma fed everybody. That was everybody. the culture. That's our culture. Mm -hmm. Who is this? They came up here. Who is this? I don't remember Shan. Did you share the uh did anybody share the the, the what you call it with? Who are you, greetings, my brother? Greetings. 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 Uh, I got the invitation, so I joined in. Calipuna from from the corporation called Trinidad. Oh, Trinidad. Okay. Did somebody put the uh, link in the chat? Because I'm trying to figure out how he got the link. <laughs> I am happy to be here. Oh, okay. Am I invited? Am I on? This is a, a special. I don't know how you got the a link. I just no pro said, no yeah. problem. If I have to leave, I will leave. No problem. I'll get okay. it some you other can, time. You're welcome to stay in the chat. But this was just a special bill. Uh, yeah, I know you're our brothers and sisters over in Trinidad. I do know that. But yeah, this yes. is a special uh, bill with uh, uh, clan mother Mimi and uh, the brother Ron Hayes. So, yes. Yeah, that is why I got in, because of, because of Ron. Okay. I follow him all the time. Oh. I okay. look for him. I look for him every I look for him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me just put that shirt. Let me just put that shirt on. You're welcome to stand the check because this is their bill. And you know, you know, hey, we know who Trinidad is, that we know who they are as well. You know, a lot of people don't like to claim the, the, 
the the little islands, but those are our peoples too. So that's our that's our land too. Yep. Yeah, yep. we have a, um we have a we have an indigenous tribe here, and okay. uh, we are just waiting. We are we are making no, numbers. The we are to... Pardon me. Y'all waiting on the mainland to wake up. <laughs> yes, yes. We are waiting on the on the um. On the three kings to walk the land, and we are waiting on the matriarch, and we are ready to blow this this place up. We are waiting. That is what's up. That is what's up. We are on the radio. We are That's making waves on the radio, telling the people every day what's going on. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we are not afraid. We are waiting. Uh, I'm glad to hear that that, that, you, that you know, and, and, and you and that's why I hear from everybody. They waiting on us to wake up. Mm -hmm. I've been telling people they they think I just be talking. Uh -uh. But now you got somebody from the island telling you. You know what we used to do with yeah. the islands? <clears throat> this is what you do at the islands. Let's say Mimi sent me to go meet with the uh, um, matriarch on the island. Mm -hmm. She going to send her all kind of gifts of stuff that they can't get on that island. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. When we get down there, we go give everything to the big mama on the island. Okay. And then no she come, point, now, yeah. that's the thing, come bearing gifts. Yeah. That's a peace so, offering. That's a, look, like a peace offering. So what she do is she have a team that's responsible for our hospitality while we visit it. Oh, okay. But when All we right. leave, when we leave, she gonna send me me gifts from the island that she can't get on the mainland. That's what's up. All right. We need to hurry up and do this Mimi like gifts. <laughs> <laughs> we are waiting. We are um, we are we are we are waiting. We just we are just so ready. So, what's the name of the the tribe that's there that you you, you speaking of? What's the uh, in Trinidad? Trinidad. Um, here we don't say Trinidad. You know, we say Kyrie. Kyrie is the indigenous thing. Trinidad is the corporation name. Ah, okay. 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 Trinidad and Tobago is the corporation. The land is Kyrie. K A I R I. Okay. K A I. Yeah. So we are um. We are the the um the the, the tribe is Kyrie Indigenous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kyrie Indigenous clan. Okay. Yeah. Down here we had only about two tribes: the Carib and the Arawak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We okay. hadn't much tribes down here. A mixture. A mixture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful land. Mm. People are very um here where you got the carnival from the calypsos and the steel pan originated here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, so. uh, we 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 like brother heads. Keep brother waking them up and we finna keep on trying to wake our people up here. Mm -hmm. We are doing the same down here. That's good. Uh, yeah. uh, yes, yes. That's but you know, uh, not only are we going to have a huge wake up wave, we all uh, the the all of America is America is going to unite against the beast. Yes. All of that, I see that coming because we are the same blood. We're the same uh, root. We're, we're the same. I mean, the, the wake up call is for all of America to come forward. We're just, you know, they separate us with all these fake ass lines. Yes. But, but but they can't separate us from our blood tie and our 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 minds tie, Say our universal thing. All of that is uh, that you know that's why the brother broke in because it was just time. Yes. <laughs> it was time for us to be to have this conversation with him. I yes, because we ain't had no conversation with nobody from the Alice besides uh my brothers and sisters that's over in Jamaica. I, uh -huh. I, I, yeah, I was building with them. Uh, that was my first matriarch group, was called the Silent Warriors. And all our bills that we did with them, they took them down because we mm, we was really all oh, ready to get ready to fuck up some people. <laughs> yeah, they're, re they're ready. Those women over there, they're, they're a lot of them, the ones that who know who they are and know who we are, they're ready. They're ready to unite. Yes. We uh we we have the sisters here the the women here they are they are they are ready they are ready mm -hmm. we yeah. are ready but the sad part is our people here on the mainland ain't fed up yet they don't 
how can I put it? You know, like we're fed up because we want to see these babies survive even when we gone. When we transition mm-hmm. to the ancestral realm, I'm going to still be kicking ass over there. I'm coming back. I, t- I already told my ancestors, you're going to let me come back in because I'm going to be smothering some of these motherfuckers in their sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what Nana Woo Woo told me. She said, oh, hey. Yes, you know, that, oh, that's our hardest thing. Nana Woo Woo said, hold on. I, I can't do no I didn't get everything I can down here. Let me go up there and go. I can do better up there. When I tell you, before she transitioned, it takes two sun. I wish she could talk. How she kept saying, we ain't got to worry about nothing. We ain't got, she said, I got them. <laughs> <laughs> and if y'all would have been at her, at her uh, home going, when I tell y'all, the stuff that was on her on her video that she recorded, and there was some pale skins in there. She was telling them, take their ass back home. Because this what they like. Yeah. I was in there. I was crying, but I was tickled to death, y'all. Because I was like, e- even while she, she done transitioned, she still talking her shit, and I loved it. Mm, oh, Nana Wu ain't for no games. Nope. I had got into it with somebody. They will, how the fuck, I'm going to give her all the respect in the world, then you're going to come to me and then disrespect somebody I respect. I'm not buying yeah. that shit. Yeah, that sound like a- <laughs> Y'all got me fucked up. Yeah. That's her. As I told her, I was like, Nana, we don't even worry. I got her. She in the crosshairs. She don't even know. And what she told us, because we was beefing for a minute with some of these uh, people on YouTube. She said, y'all ain't got to worry about a thing. I got them. <laughs> hmm. Whew, I miss Nana Woo too. Yeah, me too. But we yeah. Will, uh, huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we, we will... um. We will we will take this place. The corporation here is already the corpor- we, we have already announced it to them that the corporation here is already over. It's over. Mm. It's over. See? It's over. They yeah, are, they, when, when, when the Negroes I, in America uh, on the mainland say this, it's over. Mm-hmm. It's over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are, you know, we're beginning to walk out of it. Yeah, but most of us is still they have the same out. fear. Hmm? Most of us fear that if we walk off our job, we won't be able to support our life. And they wanted it to be that way. That's why they that's why they made it where you you can't live without them. But we're learning slowly to live without them. Our, our yeah. nation. That's all we talk about is how how soon can we get away from those motherfuckers? Yeah. Well, I don't need they them because I can all live that shit, all of it, yeah, every I'm- fucking document they ever birth certificate, uh, driver's license, marriage license, poodle license. Yes. We, I don't need them. We I, don't don't need them. I know how to live off the fat of the land. You can drop me off anywhere on this motherfucker, and I'm going to live off the fat of the land. You can drop me in the desert. I'm going to come out that motherfucker with a cactus motherfucking jumpsuit on. You drop me in the jungle, I'm going to come out that bitch with some gators on my feet. And a motherfucking monkey pelt on my back. I'm not bullshitting. I gotta know how to live off the land for real. Mm-hmm. We already plant. We already I, plant our own food. I grow my own. We already. We are ready. We plant our own food. Mm-hmm. We plant. We grow our own food. We eat. We drive. We drive without license. Without, we take no part. We have to live. We we do not wear any face mask. Period. And that's what mm-hmm. I, I I don't either. I don't either. I be walking past people looking like they damn crazy. Look, my mama taught me how to. Yourself. My mama taught me how to garden when I was a baby. Now, that's just second nature to me. I didn't, but my grandma, my grandma, and my granddaddy did. That's what they done. Yeah. But you know, we wasn't that. I, I was born in seventy one, so I basically came up in the late seventies and eighties. And by the time you know I reached a teenage years, they had got old because. You know, like I said, my granddaddy was 20 years older than my grandmother. So mm-hmm. he, you know, he he wasn't doing it in the morning. They had to wind up moving in with my auntie. So it, that already took my granddaddy. The, you was talking about the Browns being one of the largest clans. My granddaddy and them owned a lot of land here. And I've been trying to find, we knew what area, we just don't know where at. And well, after all those been. rich uh country music singers in it. And it was called Brown Station. It Look, was- what we don't know is our big mamas from all over the land, 
they took her ledgers, her Big Mama's Book of Life. Every Big Mama had one. They got that shit on lock and key in caves. Up at the underground, up at, and on the side of the mountain in those caves, uh, uh, they said they have all the native records, which we know who they talk about. Because those are those are the uh, Johnny Come Ladies. If anybody records, you got it's ours. Yep. All of those records go back, way back, like Egyptian back. Mm. But they don't want you to see it, but it's too late. I'm glad you brought up the Egyptian. Now, when you look at the uh, walls of Egypt, they have coin. They even have the wolf dog, the dog that we were just speaking of on the uh, on their uh, animus. Yeah. So why would they have all? They got the eagle on their wall. All now, that stuff come from over here because yeah. the the pyramid complex that was Hollywood does. That that wasn't no sacred site that was hollywood mm -hmm. you know we just now hollywood over here in a different place yeah but all of that shit over there is just so that when we wake up we can get the keys mm -hmm. the same way we can look at the movie panther and we can see t'challa's movement and, and match him up to tupac oh yeah and he was named so Okay, his mother named him after the uh, the emperor. Uh, what's his name? Um, Tupac is the the name of Tupac is in it. Tupac Amaru. I wonder was yeah. I wonder was he uh, part of that bloodline? Is the reason why his mama named him after that. Now emperor. I I can't prove what I'm about to tell you, but it's a ritual that the mothers used to do in the community, based off the time frame that you changed his name. It seems to be accurate. So when the baby is born and you want to know which ancestor it is, right? Every day in the morning when they wake up, you whisper in their ear, what's your name? Uh, and normally around the ninth or tenth month, the baby will say their name clear as day. Wow. And I believe that's why she wow. changed his name because he finally told her what his real name was. Because he was coming back as the emperor that was. The, but they said he was whooping ass. That emperor was whooping ass. Yep. He was a bad motherfucker. Wow. You really, really learned a lot. <laughs> I wonder which one of my ancestors, because I've been fighting uh like like you know, when I was when I was young, I, I think I my mom used to say, you fight breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I she said you go to bed fighting, you get up fighting. I used to fight two or three people at a time. My friend told my daughter that I uh so we have a gathering here every year. Leo. I'm a Pisces. I, I I like to say, like, uh um, I always stood up for the underdog. That's what I tell people. I stand up for the underdog. Mm -hmm. So and I never knew why I've always got mad when I used to see people bullying people. I used to get mad and be ready. I throw myself in that fight knowing it didn't have nothing to do with me. But I would wind up fighting somebody because I hated to see people sit there bully somebody that wasn't bothering them. And you could clearly see that people don't want to fight you, but you bullying them. So I will always be somewhere fighting. And my friend, she said, you remember that time? This was just last weekend, told my daughter. She said, you tell your daughter about that time you were fighting like four girls and you were just whooping ass. I said, yeah, I remember. So it was, we, uh, uh, it was we, literally we, take a gang of them to fight me. Yeah, we normally get the reputation of the movie leaders. Yeah, she's on house, Leo. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 She's texting and, and her having a conversation with us by text. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was, I'm, so I'm uh giving you what she says. She's she know she's chiming in here and there. Okay. <laughs> here, I want to ask a question. Uh huh. I want to ask you this question. I always wanted to ask him this since I started seeing him. Each time I dream my mom, my mom was my favorite person. Still is. Each time I talk about her, I feel my pause But each time I dream her, she always know what I'm thinking. <laughs> so I'm going to tell it to you like my mama told me when I was growing up. And we didn't know what the fuck mama was talking about. But she say, Check your mind, because I'm going to be with you all the time. Mm. The psychic connection to our mothers is tied directly to our heart chakra. 
and you're not lying. Because I can always oh. like feel like when my mom is sick, she won't tell about I know. Yeah. And I'd be like, Mama, I said, How you feeling today? She oh, said, you know how it is, baby. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, nah, nah, nah. I said, you'll tell me anything. But I oh. get my ancestors, and then that's what I do do. My ancestors come to me and my um my Stephen. I kept saying, I said, well, during my dad, my daddy been gone five years. His birthday was just Sunday. And uh, he be gone five years on uh, this coming December the 17th. And I was, I kept saying a while back, I said, well, dad ain't came to see me in my sleep. And sure enough, within that week, he came to see me. And and it, I hated that I woke up so fast because I was so excited to see him. And he bust out laughing. He said, you okay?